All right, so this is uh, part six, starting a part six of the deck rebuild uh, and build and add on or whatever we want to call it now at this point. So today we're working on cutting the third stringer here that's going to go over, if I can point it out over here, over on the deck over here. And uh, so I'm taking starting here in the shade instead of out there in the sun. Uh, so try to take, keep things a little bit cooler here. It is Sunday morning at 10 a.m., a little after 10 a.m., and it is already hot out here. So I cut out the stringer here um, for the uh, steps. Uh, so unfortunately, I get in the way of the cutting here, but this is basically, it's just cutting out uh, the, this stringer here like I cut out the uh, other two stringers uh, in the previous video here. Uh, it's marked out here. And uh, so go in here and get these cuts made to the uh, uh, to where the uh, steps are going to go. Oh, uh, you know, it got loosened up or something. I had to tighten up something. I don't remember. So, um, and we get the uh, and then dra grab the saw and cut out the last of the pieces. Okay, so now we're starting to put the stringers in place here. We're not going to get much more than that. We got a storm coming in here. So this may be as far as we get here for a while here. Uh, because we got weather coming in like this here for a while here. But so we're going to get these stringers in place. At least. And then we're going to be stopping for today. So we can work on getting these stringers in here as quick as we can before the weather comes in. And uh, it comes in fast and hard on us. Okay, so we got our stringers in here. We still got to do some leveling out and uh, getting this here ready. Here we got to, we're going to have to take, do a little bit of leveling out down here and get some blocks underneath of it here. But we have the stringers in place, and we have this storm coming in here. So there we go. We're taking show show the storm here coming in here, and the wind's starting to pick up. And uh, so we're shutting down right now, and. Uh, We'll get back out here as soon as we're, uh, the weather is good for us again. All right, so the weather only lasted for a couple hours. So we're out here now again, uh, working on the uh, stairs here. So we've got the stringers in place. We uh, kind of leveled them out here. We've got to do a little bit more digging, but they're level anyway and squared up where they need to be. And uh, so we're going to now start cutting the decking for the steps, but I've got to go and put tape on there. I've got to put tape on there as well. So uh, he's getting he's getting uh, the uh, the decking that it needs to be cut to fit on the shares. So we're just going to be a three foot wide, uh, actually just a hair over three foot wide stairs here. So um, we're going to do three foot. I think it's going to be three foot four inches, something like that. There, I've got to go up and measure to make sure uh, that uh, that I have the right size here. But I think we're going to be like three foot four inches wide, three foot six inches wide, something like that. So um, I got to get this, get the tape on here, and get this measured out exactly how wide these uh, this deck is going to be here. Uh, the steps are going to be. So we get the. Uh boards there and I calculate out exactly how many how, how wide it is and I think it ends up being 38 and a half inches or something like that uh, that uh, each of the steps are uh, probably could have made a little bit longer I don't remember but I think 38 and a half inches is what I ended up with um, because I didn't want to get too close to the AC quills uh, over there neither I uh, wanted it to take me as close as I could without actually hitting the AC coils don't want to be getting in the way of them. Uh, it's as it is. It's close enough to it. I may end up having to move that AC coil uh, condenser. Um, uh, but uh, so it uh, 
the rain stopped us from getting working a couple of times. I get out here a little bit later. This is a uh, Tuesday, I think, uh, after maybe th Thursday. I don't remember after uh, Nick is gone, and uh, my wife's out here now. Um, uh, video in here while I'm cutting up the last of the steps and get working on getting these here put in place, so I get the steps in place, and I uh, use the one board there's got the cut angle there, and I mark it out so that it's it's set to where the uh, so it's uh, used to mark lay out where the uh, boards are going to go because I've got marks on it to take move up for each one so that it's in place I can mark, match the right edge of it to be the right place uh, on each row going up and uh, go up this year as much as I can it starts raining on me again and <laughs> have to stop Okay, so I bought these solar powered lights here to go on top of the, the posts. Uh, these are solar powered here, so I got a solar power here and the lights up here where it goes out here. And these actually mount to the top of the post here. The problem is the tops of these posts here have this chamfer here and this doesn't sit on it properly square. Now, if I flip it over, so what it actually would be, if I chop it off, this is how this would mount up here, like this here, would mount on here perfectly. So, uh, I have 12 of these, these solar-powered lights. So, of the 19, I think it is, 19 or 20, oh, it could be more, it could be 24, so 25, something like that, posts that are going to go up around this deck here, I have to cut off the tops of 12 of these here, 12 of them, so that these here will fit on top of here. So I've got, I have to cut this bevel off right here. I have to cut it off here for 12 of these here. So that's what I'm going to do next, cut 12 of these here into, uh, into shape. So I cut 12 of these um, rail posts cut that bubble top off of 12 of these row posts I realized that the uh, after my first cut that the uh, that my uh, um, my my saw wasn't locked at zero degrees it was like almost a half a degree off and I had to reset it and I was like well, I was wondering why I was having trouble getting it to things cut square at first there but I got it straight squared up all right so here in Georgia the uh, rail height is minimum 36 inches. So these things are, to the first cut here, to this first thing here, 42 and a half inches. The deck for this year is six and a half inches, which is perfect. So if I have the bottom of this here flush with the bottom of this two by six, it'll be exactly 36 inches to this cut right here. So, unfortunately, I want to have some short clamps and some long clamps here. So, Jen, you're trying to get this here so I can put clamp this here into place. As the, this is what's going to what's going to cut on. Just set on this here. Actually, let's take it back this out a bit here and get another notch down. Actually, I'm blocking. Oh, the camera's not even pointing at me. Let me get here into the corner to see if see if we can see if see if we can get this here to what I'm actually doing here. So hopefully, you get this here clamped in here. Oh boy. There, put that in place. Except for this is in the way. Yeah, this is probably going to be in the way. Let's see here. Go the right, right way. Let's see. Let's see if that will work. See if it's not in the way. All 
All right. Now if I get this here in place. Now obviously that's tilting a bit. That's because this is tilting a little bit. And all that, before I tighten everything up, I'll put shims and everything to get it square. But this at least hold it in place. And get it vertical. Right there. So I can at least. So the spade bit here, I can. Oh gosh, let me see here. Where I gotta go? I got five and a half inches that I can actually work with. So I want to take from here at four and a half inches. Actually, let me lay this here down to get these here started. We're using a half inch bit here. Then we're one and a half inches and four inches. That's what we'll do. One and a half inches and four inches. I'm not even showing what I'm doing here. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take at one and a half inches and four inches. We're going to take drill half inch through all the boards, the base here. So when we go put them up in place, or I have them marked. First one. So we'll show I'll show you how this is gonna go. So now we got it cut here. We're gonna do this here. And we're gonna do this here for all the ones coming in. So we're gonna put it in place here. Get it where it needs to go. Go ahead and go get these here marked on the other side. There we go. So now I know where to drill. Now that we got that drilled in,
this is what we're going to use here. These are half inch carriage bolts, six inches long. And that's what we're going to go forward with. Looks like I'm running out of space on the card here, but that's okay. This is about where we're going to end for this part of the video. Hope you and let me get this here in. See if we can get this in before the we run out of space. So just so you see it, what we're doing. I gotta get that just driven in in place. Don't have a hammer here with me. That's great. Friggin' awesome. Oh, I get it. I get it driven in like that now. But then. Now this will come loose here. Now it's being held in place by the bolts. And we're going to pick up starting next uh, for the next video. We're going to start picking up here. So I've got these all cut here for the uh, ones that are going to have the, the uh, lights on them. And the ones that aren't going to have the lights on them, obviously, this is right here next to the house. There's uh, not room for the light. Wouldn't do good there anyway. So we're going to start here. Uh, end here for part, I guess this is part six, I believe. And we'll start part seven uh, later on. We are a little bit slow in getting this out because we had weather that came in and uh, prevented from working on the... Uh, uh, on this here, we did get the uh, stairs completed over there that we started on that uh, when it started raining on me, I did get those completed and the hot tub is ready to go in place. So hopefully here next week here, I'll get some help in here to think move the hot tub. If so, that will be in this next video uh, as well as putting up uh, the rails here. So I'm Jim the Hippie Redneck Geek and this is a uh, Rebuilding the deck part six. Please subscribe if you want to see more and click that notification bell if you want to get notified whenever uh, We uh, put out new, uh, whenever I put out new videos. I've also lost my help. My grandson has gone back home to go to go to school uh, His uh, summer vacation is up. He's got to go back to school and uh, So Nick won't be on any more of the videos uh, so at least not till next year whenever we can have uh, some projects whenever he's back next year. And his brother Nathan says he wants to be here too. So we'll have some more stuff come then. But uh, right now that's where we're at today. So we'll hope to, hope to see you and hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.